what's up my little biscuits, it's FK and Blue Waffle here. And today I'm going to be showing you something called an X key. Um, if you don't know what this is, it's basically an Xbox 360 uh, game emulator. So I'll show you here once it starts up really quick. Let it load. Oh, also, um, sorry if the quality or the even the sound quality isn't that good because I have to use my flip video camera because my other one is dead and I can't charge it right now. So, um, all right. So as you can see, it just says open tray. Okay. So now I'm gonna come over here to my controller. You probably can't even read that yet. One way is you just go to hard drive. And then I have a bunch of games here, as you can see. Um, let's see. Um, let's Halo Reach. I'll select Halo Reach. It tells me to open the tray. All you have to do is hit the button. The tray won't open, as you can see. But it says that it's open, and now it's closing. And it's reading. And now it says I can play the game. Um, let that load for a second. And then you'll see, yep, it's Halo Reach. So now, if I want to play a different game, all I have to do is, I'll use my controller here. Alright, press Y to eject. So now it's opening, closing. Oh. Sorry, I accidentally hit it twice, so now I need to do it again. Alright, so now you can see that it says uh, Mixed Media Disc. So all I have to do is come over here to Apps, Picture Viewer, Current Disc, because it thinks that it's a disc. Um, select my hard drive. And then, as you can see here, these are all the games that I have on here right now. Um, whoop, <laughs> drop the controller. I have Blur. Uh, I think that is Black Ops. I have some World at War mod menus, Forza 4 hacks. Uh, yeah, there's just basically a bunch of games on here, and I can play any of these. So let's just say, uh, hmm, play Saints for the Third. Now, eject, eject to load. All I have to do is go back to the main dashboard, eject. I'll just press Y this time instead of pressing the button. reading disc even though there's not a disc in there at all play game sends are the third and to show that they actually play I'll just click on it let it load up here okay while it's loading I guess I can oh there it is disconnected because an update it's fine you can actually update the game so it's not like you have to play offline or something so I'll show you that's uploading and while that's loading I'm gonna show you my blue snowball mic um, that I got a couple days ago uh, I uploaded a video while using it if you guys saw that or not I don't know but uh, I'm pretty happy with it I got the pop filter obviously um, sounds really good and um, I'll be using this for now on instead of the shitty USB mic I had before. Uh, it was like a headset, I don't know. But I'll put that back. Get back over here. As you can see, it is loading. And it does work. Since we're the third, all I have to do is press start. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is just kind of a little review for the X key. If anybody was kind of wondering if they should get it or not, all you need is the X key itself, which connects to the the DVD drive inside of the console. And then, as you can see back here, it has its own port that like sticks out, and then you plug in the actual X key controller right here, which then connects to an external hard drive with all your games on it, which I have a 500 um, gig Western Digital. So, 
Um, it's really good. All you have to do is download the game straight from your computer and transfer it over the hard drive, and then it'll just play because it thinks that it's a disc. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.